Hey, if you're thinking about moving to San Jose, well then guess what? You found the right place. Hey, welcome to Living in San Jose. This is my new channel. Welcome. Thank you for watching my first video. Uh, hey, my name is Jason Clark. I'm a realtor here in San Jose. Uh, not only am I a realtor, uh, but I'm also a lifelong resident and I like to welcome you uh, to my city. I like to show you my city. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, in the weeks and the months to come, uh, I'm going to be making a lot of videos, uh, not only about San Jose, but we're going to cover Saratoga, Los Gatos, Morgan Hill, Gilroy. We're going to cover a lot of the surrounding uh, neighborhoods, surrounding towns. So definitely make sure to give a like, give a subscribe, all that stuff, all that fancy stuff that all the YouTube people tell you to do. Uh, bear with me. This is my first video here for all of you. Uh, if you're living in California and you're thinking of coming to San Jose, uh, if you're living in another state and you're looking at relocation, a uh, cross-country relocation, uh, definitely give me a call, shoot me an email, you know, all that fancy stuff. Um, I've, I've done relocation, uh, my, or I say, let me, let me rephrase. I have relocated myself. So although I'm born and raised and a, a lifelong resident of San Jose, minus about six years, I did live in Denver. So I know what it's like to move from, from one city to another. And when I lived in Denver, I then moved back again. So I've actually relocated across this country twice. And, uh, and I know the stress that comes with that. I know how hard it is. I know the, the uncertainty and, and, and so I want to make sure that you know that I'm going to be there with you beginning to end, okay? That, that throughout this process, whether you're a single person and you're moving alone, uh, which is scary enough as it is, but also if you're a family and, uh, and say you got a job out here or you just decided you want to come to California because you've always wanted to try it, but you have a, you have a spouse and you have kids, um, you know, that adds a whole level of, uh, of complexity and, and nerves and, and questioning whether or not you're doing the right thing. And, and I just want you to know that throughout this process, you will always have somebody to call, somebody to always talk to, because like I said, I know that moving can be difficult. And, and I want to, again, I want to be there uh, with you uh, along this journey. And I want to be the one who, when you come to San Jose, I would love to pick you up from the airport, show you around. I would love to welcome you. Um, and so with that said, kind of with that little mini intro uh, out of the way, I wanted to make this a fun video. I just kind of wanted to kind of just kind of let it uh, say, let my hair down if I really had a whole lot of it. I don't have a whole lot of hair to let down. Uh, but I just, you know what? I just wrote five things to bring to San Jose. And I kind of want to make this fun, want to make it interesting. Uh, but it's say if you live out in the middle of Kansas right now and you're looking to move to San Jose, what should I bring with me, right? Say you're a guy, right? And your wife is telling you, sell all your stuff. You're not bringing any of it. Well, you're going to say, hey, man, Jason said I should bring a handful of these things. So, hey, let's just get right to it. I don't want this video to be too long. Um, I've got five things here for you, right? You ready for this? I got my list. So pardon me if I look down at my list again. It's my first video. Number one. If you're moving to San Jose, the number one thing you're going to want to bring with you, <laughs> and I mean this, I wrote this down, bring your money. Oh yeah, you're going to need to bring your money. The, I'm sure you know, I'm sure you've done your research and you've seen that San Jose is, uh, if not the most expensive city in the country, uh, probably top two or three, right? We got New York and San Francisco, and I think the three of us like to uh, battle it out over and over on who's the most expensive. So, uh, you know, if, if, if San Jose is going to be number one, hey, we're the number one in housing costs. Uh, you're in California, so we're going to be number one in gas prices. Uh, we're the number one in sales taxes. All right. So uh, California, our uh, genius politicians over there in Sacramento, and I'll say these genius people that live here, don't get me started. Uh, they just love to just keep adding taxes to everything. So everything just gets taxed and taxed and taxed because uh, it's supposed to help the kids. Never helps the kids. <laughs> but because of that, we have the highest gas prices in the nation. We have some of the highest taxes in the nation. Uh, granted, we do have pretty good property taxes. So if you're going to move out here, uh, one of the benefits of moving to California and especially San Jose, uh, Santa Clara County, uh, our property taxes are not that bad. And uh, because of Prop 13, which is a really great proposition um, that a lot of these, again, genius politicians are trying to get rid of, uh, because of Prop 13, it actually protects your property taxes from going up too much, right? If, the, if your house appreciates a whole lot, say it goes up 5% one year, 
uh, and appreciation, your property taxes can only go up two to three um, percent that you know in, in a year. It, it can't get uh, too out of hand. But with that said, uh, we are expensive, um, and and this is being filmed right now. I'm recording this in the fall, almost fall. It's uh, early October of 2021, so we're dealing with the inflation uh, that's occurring right now. But that's impacting everybody across the country. But I'm sure you've done your research and you know that San Jose, Silicon Valley is. Uh, without a doubt, one of the most expensive uh, places to live. And I'm going to say this too, real quick, before I move to my uh, to my next uh, my next item here. Uh, it's expensive, but it's worth it, right? It's expensive, but it's worth it. There's a reason people are here. I'm going to get into that, and uh, and so don't let it scare you away. I know a lot of people think, oh, I don't want to go there, but guess what? There's a lot of people come here, and they come here for good reason. And it's a place where you can really, really make things happen. And so that's why it's expensive. I mean, aside from the fact that we do have some housing shortages, builders tend to not build because it's a little bit difficult, but that's all going to be covered in, in later videos, right? So make sure to subscribe. So when we go through all that, you can hear my rantings and my ravings about uh, everything that's going on in, in uh, San Jose and in California. Oh, and one more thing, and I'm going to add this. Uh, Definitely make sure to subscribe because I'm going to tell you the truth about San Jose and I'm going to tell you the truth about California. I'm not going to be one of these realtors that's going to sit here and tell you like everything is great. And if I give you cons, it's not going to be, oh, the cons are traffic. Oh, yes. No, I'm not going to tell you that stuff. I'm sure you already know we have traffic. You already know it's expensive. OK, so I'm not going to go through that with you. I'm going to give you the low down and dirty on the pros and cons of, uh, of San Jose. And, uh, and I think they're just things that people need to know. When you move here, these are things that are not going to catch you by surprise. And my hope is that you say, you know what? I'm really glad Jason shared that with me. I'm really glad that Jason told me that because now it's not a shock. And, or maybe you've already prepared for whatever it is that, uh, you know, that it is. So just keep that in mind. Yes, we're expensive, but it's worth it. Uh, number two, what should I bring to San Jose when I move in there? All right, to all you gentlemen out there, all you fellas, the wife is telling you to throw away all your stuff. Bring your fishing pole. California, I know California doesn't have the reputation of being real outdoorsy. We are super outdoorsy. Oh, let me let me say, maybe it does have the reputation of being outdoorsy. I mean, you know, we we have California is huge, right? So I think a lot of times California has a reputation of being. Uh, just beaches and palm trees. And that's not the case, especially in San Jose. You're in Northern California. So we have here in San Jose, we have a Bass Pro. If you like to fish, if you like to hunt, you like all that kind of outdoor stuff, hiking, all that, man, bring your fishing pole. We have, I think I looked it up. It was over 800 miles of coastline in California. So if you like uh, ocean fishing, you like, uh, you like fishing for striper, we've got the Delta. So you get striper in the ocean and then they move their way up into the Delta. You can go hit them there. Uh, get yourself a crab snare. I'm a crab guy. I love Dungeness crab. So I love to go out to Pacifica pier or even off the coast, you know, you can shore fish and you can fish for Dungeness crab using your fishing pole. Really? It's, it's great. <laughs> it's a great way to catch crab. Well, Hold on. I won't make a joke there. <laughs> Maybe I'll edit that out, but probably not. So bring your fishing pole. We also have, and hold on, I wrote this down. How much was it? We have, we have 400 fishing lakes in California. Okay. And so just in the Bay area right here, just in, in San Jose, we've got a lot of lakes, right? There's, there's a lot of lake fishing. You've got the ocean just on the other side. So, but if you like lake fishing, we've got great trout right great catfish and there's actually a great lake down the down the road here great catfish um, so bring your fishing pole you're going to have a great time in california going fishing having a good time being outside if you got the boat the wife's trying to make you sell the boat no honey no 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 jason says we have to keep the boat we're going to go to lake comanche we'll go to par d yeah it's called par d not party but we will party at par d if you invite me all right you got that so all right, let's get on with it before this video is too long. Uh, man, thanks for being with me on this. This is fun. I'm having a good time talking to you, to, to you uh, about San Jose and the fun stuff. Uh, number three, if you're moving to San Jose, the number three thing to bring, bring your appetite. Yes, that's right. Bring your appetite. You are moving to not only the fruit basket, the food basket, whatever. The Central Valley of California provides amazing fruits, vegetables, but we just have some of the greatest restaurants in the country. Okay. So, so, uh, Los Gatos right down the street here, which is right next to San Jose. 
um, is the home of Manresa, which is David Kinch. Look him up. A three Michelin star, world renowned chef, amazing restaurant. Uh, we got, like I said, we great or, or other Michelin star restaurants that I'm thinking about. I think I wrote some down. Did I write some? Uh, yeah, man, we got Manresa. Oh, Adega. Okay, so uh, San Jose actually has a Michelin star restaurant that's Portuguese themed. So if you want to come out and you like Portuguese food, we have got a Portuguese restaurant that is a michelin star i've been there it is amazing um and then uh, what was the third one what was the other one? Oh, plumed horse yeah plumed horse in saratoga again uh great wines uh, great food um but yeah i mean bring your appetite again all that fish the access to the ocean that we have uh access to all the fruits and vegetables that we have that, that are so local here uh people in san jose los gatos cupertino campbell we love our farmer's markets. Every weekend, there's farmer's markets, access to fresh fruits and foods and everything. Uh, but also think about this. There's uh, um, because of the climate here. So if you're moving from somewhere, say you're moving from Minnesota or something, our climate here in San Jose is a Mediterranean type of climate. You can make your own garden right, or grow your own garden and you can have some really amazing uh, fruits, vegetables, herbs, all that that you can grow in your own yard because our, our soil here is really great. And uh, our weather here is just really conducive to uh, just having great gardens. I think that's why our farmers markets are are so popular. So uh, bring your appetite for sure. Oh, and wines. If you like wines, we have some of the best wineries. And I'm not talking about Napa and Sonoma, right? I'm talking about the Santa Cruz Mountains that are right here. I can see them from this desk, right? Uh, Mount Eden, Calera, although Calera is actually down in Hollister. Uh, I wrote some down. What are the other ones? Um, Ridge. You know, if you love, I mean, Ridge is a world-renowned, world-famous uh, a winery uh, right here in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And then uh, just south of us is Gilroy. And Gilroy has, again, amazing wineries. They have a uh, Fortino and Clola Chance, uh, where the Guglielmo, uh, great, great wineries. So even though as you start to kind of get down towards the Gilroy area, where in the summertime it can get a little hot, the wines down there are fantastic. They grow a lot of Italian style varietals. Uh, so you get some Sangioveses and those things. And, and for the record, I will say, uh, in a previous life, I may have been a sommelier in a restaurant. Maybe uh, I may have uh, at one point in my life had the honor uh, to work with uh, with Paul Meckes um, at Madera Restaurant, which is a uh, Michelin star restaurant uh, in uh, in Menlo Park. Um, it's at the uh, Rosewood Sand Hill. So, uh, so I'm pretty partial uh, when it comes to food and wine uh, in this place, San Jose, the Silicon Valley region here, Santa Cruz Mountains, South Valley. Uh, just uh, just fantastic, fantastic food and wine options. And, uh, you know, you want to get out on a night and go eat somewhere. There's just unlimited places uh, to be able to get out and, and eat and have a great time. All right. Number four, bring with you. OK, and I actually separated this. I was I had this as part of the fishing poles because I was going to kind of do an outdoors thing. But number four, uh, bring your skis. And you're saying, what? Bring your skis. What, what do you mean, Jason? Bring my skis. Should you mean uh, you mean my my. Uh, my water skis? Or are you talking about my snow skis? And yes, I'm saying both. Bring both, right? Again, this is California, 400 lakes, and we've got the Sierra Mountains. We've got some amazing, amazing skiing. We've got great, or you know, snow skiing. Bring your snowboard. Bring your water skis because we got, you know, like I said, we'll, we'll go to Lake Comanche. We'll go have a good time. Uh, but yeah, bring your skis. California is one of those few places uh, where you can actually uh, surf, right? You can surf and snowboard in the same day. Honest to goodness, it's people talking. It's not easy to do. It's actually, you know, quite a few hour drive from the beach up into the mountains. But people do it and they brag about it. But you can definitely go fishing. You can go fishing in the Sierra foothills during the day and go back to your campsite, grab your snowboard, and you can go you can go snowboard or skiing uh, in the evening and into the uh, into the night where they have night skiing. So uh, definitely bring your skis. Have a good time. California is an outdoor paradise right oh and, and it's kind of funny I, I remember when uh when i first moved to colorado because you know, I, I used to snowboard uh, before i moved to colorado and uh when i moved to colorado people were asking where i was from i'd say oh I'm, you know i'm from california they would go oh you know of course of course california or colorado folks were like oh you know because they got the rockies they were like well i hope you know how to drive in the snow you know this is uh, this is colorado you know and i was like you know uh, have you ever seen California? <laughs> have you seen a topographical or topographical map of uh, California? Like it's pretty much all mountains. We've got some valleys, but 
it's all mountains. We've, I think, if correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we have more mountain uh, ridge line than uh, than Colorado does. So sorry, all you Colorado folks, but they were a little bit smug when I moved there about how I was a California guy going to the mountains. Like, yeah, I go to the mountains a lot, so uh, they're all over the place. But yeah, that's it. Number four, come on out, have fun, go skiing, go water skiing. Um, number five, and this is my favorite one. All right, man, this video is getting long, but whatever, we'll edit it down a little bit. Uh, Number five, my favorite thing for you to bring. Are you ready? I want you to bring your desire to succeed. That's right. You bring that desire to succeed to San Jose and you are going to make a life for yourself and you are going to live a life that you never dreamed possible and that you probably couldn't create anywhere else, right? And this goes back to number one. Remember number one, when we're talking about money, it's expensive, well, it's expensive because a lot of the people that come here are coming here with a vision. They're coming here with a goal and a dream. They want to build something, okay? And when and when that happens and when you have access to these venture capitalists right here off of Sand Hill Road, who I've met many of them when I worked at the restaurant, when you have this close of access to them with a goal and a dream, amazing, amazing things can happen in your life. So if you're moving out here because you maybe got a tech job, you're a director, senior director, whatever, president of a, of a major company, and you're coming out and you've got the salary and the ability to do that, but you know in the back of your mind there's this little thing, this thing you want to build or this thing you want to develop, this is the place to do it. And even though San Jose has gotten a bad reputation lately, or I'll say Silicon Valley, right, has gotten a bad reputation with – so many people moving out of here, so many companies moving out of here, and Tesla just being the most recent one, um, HP, right? Uh, Yahoo's moved headquarters. They're all moving to Austin. They're all moving to Miami. Um, and for good reason, okay? For good reason, I think, because for a, for a long time, California um, uh, has definitely taken advantage of a lot of these tech companies by making it so expensive and so difficult for a lot of them to do business. And Elon Musk had said it best when he had made, when he had decided to move Tesla out, when he had just said that the big trees are, are choking out the little trees and, and it's time to kind of thin out, thin out the trees a little bit. And, and I ultimately think that, like I said, even though we're getting a lot of bad press here in San Jose and in Silicon Valley, I truly think that it's ultimately going to be a good thing uh, that we have, uh, that, that Silicon Valley is no longer the, the only kid in town. I, I believe competition is a great, great thing. And, and for Silicon Valley to have Austin, Miami, Bozeman's hopping. If anybody's ever been to Bozeman, seeing that tech scene they got there, um, I think it's going to be a good thing. It's really going to cause a lot of these politicians here who have really just, you know, just pushed the pendulum as far as it'll go in terms of how far they can take these tech companies, which we just found out was recently too far. Um, hopefully it's going to swing back a little bit and, and we're going to allow a lot more of these little trees like yourself, maybe to come up and foster and grow. And we still have the venture capital uh, business right here or business, but the, the venture capital uh, money here, right? The funding. Um, it's just, if, if you come out here with that desire to really want to do something, uh, you're going to do it here. You know, that, that old stereotype of, of moving to California Right. And you're just going to bring your surfboard and you're going to be like, yeah, dude, we're going to go surfing and chill on the beach. Yeah, those days are done. They're pretty much gone. <laughs> I don't know how anybody could ever do that anymore uh, anywhere in California, because California just overall everywhere is getting uh, well, getting has been very expensive. So so put that stereotype away. And if you're coming to San Jose, you're coming here with a dream and a goal. And I'm telling you, we're going to get you there. We're going to help you do it. I would love to help you. Look, I'm a, I'm a realtor. Us realtors, we are, we are small business owners and we have dreams and visions too. And, and we utilize technology just like this on YouTube, getting our message out there to try to grow a business, to try to make a life for ourselves. And as much as I'm doing it for myself, I would love to help you if you have a dream and a goal and you think Silicon Valley and San Jose is the place to do it. And I think it is. I truly think it is. And so uh, when when you make that decision and you're ready to come out here, give me a call, shoot me a text, email, all that. Again, I'm going to pick you up from the airport. We're going to go have dinner. We're going to talk about what your goals, your plans are, and we're going to get you there. And in the meantime and in the process, we're probably going to find you a place to live too. I have a great team of realtors here uh, that I work with. So if you're looking at a luxury listing, I'm going to put you up with one of my luxury agents, all right? And if you're looking at, at condos, I have a I have a, actually a really great condo guy. Uh, his name is Jeff. He's been selling real estate 
in San Jose uh, for 25 years, right? And, and he specializes in condos. So whatever it is across the board, we're going to help you get what you need, not only in terms of your housing, but we're going to get you and your business and whatever it is you're trying to build so you can live a great life so that that money, when we talk about the money issue, how it's expensive, that it's absolutely worth it. At the end of the day, when you lay your head down on that pillow at night, you know you're in the right place. And, uh, and I welcome you. So, so thank you for watching this, everybody. Get a hold of me. Uh, hey, definitely subscribe. Like I said, we got a lot of videos coming up. I'm doing pros and cons videos. I got my GoPro. We're going to go to the farmer's markets. We're going to go have a good time. We're going to go taste some wine. We're going to go hit some restaurants. And so, uh, so yeah, definitely let me know. Uh, shoot me your email as well. I'll put you on my newsletter. I'll just give you just a, a weekly newsletter highlighting some of the places and things going on around here. Um, you know, the things that I don't get uh, to put in the video. So man, I talked fast. That was a lot. Uh, I'm going to spend some time editing this, but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good night or have a, have a good day, everybody. Take care now. Bye-bye.